Good afternoon. Happy Earth Day. I'm Esther from Create at Arizona Science Center. And today we are going to be demonstrating uh, electric cars. Okay. So let me turn my camera around. I'll wait a little bit for others to show up. Is this the electric car? I already have it set up. Okay. Hello! Greetings! Happy Earth Day! So, this is the electric car we already set up. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. Okay. This electric car is actually a compound machine because it has a few different simple machines. That being uh, the pulleys and the wheels and axes. Okay. Um, first step. Right here is I have a pulley. And I know when I turn this on it's the way this spins. Okay, so the pulley, pulley is two wheels, normally has little hubs like that, and a rope or a piece of belt, something that's tethering them together. And if you notice, they're going in the same direction. The other thing, if you notice, if I do a full rotation of the screen one, Look at the little dots I placed there. That other will takes a while to, to do a full revolution. Okay. And this pulley is actually connected. I have the pulley right there. And there's the axes. It leads to set of gears. Okay. We have this gear here which is pretty much the driving gear. And let me turn it around. Um, when I'm using the pulley, when the pulley is moving, it's going to turn that. Okay. So pulley is turning that, that gear is turning that way. And you notice with the pulleys, they were turning same direction with the gear. This gear is turning this way. Well, that force right there is going to make this gear turn that way. And it means the car is going to go that way. And depending on different gears, different sizes of gears, or even different sizes of pulleys, I can change uh, the force. Um, let's say um, this car um, probably can get over obstacles a little easier. If I wanted to make a super fast one, I'd probably change one of the gears to be smaller, so it, like, probably this one. So, that turned really, really fast, but it probably wouldn't have uh, oomph, like, if it came across an obstacle, it wouldn't have that, that great um, force to help carry it over. Um, normally when we did this activity, we like traded all the different gears out while we're running that. So I'll change it a few times and we'll see what changes when we change things out. Okay. Also, one thing I didn't mention with uh, the pulleys and the gears, um, you see torque in action. And all torque is, is a uh, twisting, twisting, twisting motion. Um, okay, and I'm going to turn this chair out of this way, and I'm going to turn our electric car on, and we're going to see how it does. Um, also, this is a two-wheel drive, 
because it's only the gears is only uh connected to uh one wheel assembly. There we go. Okay. Oh, I think I got this set up just about right. Sometimes I have to adjust as we go. So I turn that on. And there we go. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm going to keep the pulley the same. Let's change the gear. Oh, I, I wish I had a, a, Lego, a Lego person to put in the car. Uh, I might have a Lego person somewhere in the house. Okay, I'm going to set my camera right there real quick so I can change stuff out. Let's just change um, pulleys. Not pulleys. The gears. Um, I'm going to switch these these two around and we'll see what difference that makes. better. It's probably an easier way of going about things. Okay. And I think when I switch this around, I don't have to worry about moving the uh, axles around because it's still the same. That's going to go something like that. Okay. Okay. That's... Oh! Well... Look at that. I might need to... Awesome, Sarah. Did you build a more of a racing car or more of like a, uh, let's just say like maybe a, a Jeep or something, something that can go over uh, other Lego obstacles? Okay. Have somebody trying trying to be helpful, but does not have opposable thumbs. Um, okay, so my problem that I had was that battery was uh, battery pack is in the way. Um, I think I might actually have a screwdriver. even need that. So, I think the fun of this electric car was the fact that you can change things around. I'm just going to get this out of my way. There we go. I'm just going to probably 
probably just tape it on top. That way it'll be out of the way. There we go. Masking tape. There we go. Okay. So that's out of our way. Got that. Okay. How do you think the car is going to act now that we just switched the gears around? Do you think it's going to go faster? Or slower? What do y'all think? Do you think it's going to go a little faster? Do you think it's going to go slower? Do you think it's going to go really fast from the get-go? Or do you think it's going to... Um, build up, build up speed as it goes. Oh! Yay! Yay for fixing Lego car! Okay. Oh, let's test this out. Okay. Our new modified... We got that. Remember this pulley's turning this way. That gear is going this this way, so the other gear is going to go that way. It's going to go this way. Okay, so I'm going to flip that on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's a little stuck. There we go. Turn that off real quick. So, if you noticed, it was starting to build up speed as it was going, but my gears was a little off. There we go. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Yep. So the first time with that gear, it went faster from the get go. This built up speed, so maybe if I had like a little bump, it would be able to work its way over the bump. Okay. Oh, what what that what was that sound you're asking, Sarah? Um. Yeah, so, uh, what happened was my gears just got a little, see how it kind of worked its way off the gear set? So I'm just going to fix that real quick. And these these uh, cars, uh, you can probably do really specific things to make sure things stay perfectly aligned 100% of the time. But this was kind of meant to explore uh, how changing pulley wheel sizes and gear sizes and how everything comes together uh, can change to do different things. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. Okay, Remember the first car went a little faster. This one Starts off a little slow, and something is getting caught up. There we go. Goes a little slower, and it was building up speed. It could just be my wires getting in the way. There we go. There we go. Oh, we get the general idea of this one. Um, you know, it's been, uh, it's been a bit, but I know this went out to, uh, various schools. And normally what happened was we would have groups all together. And, uh, let's say groups of, like, 
two, three kits, and we gave them different gears and different pulleys, and they would build one, we'd give them like 10 minutes to build one, and they tested it, see how it did, um, they change it out, and then um, once everybody felt good about their car, uh, we normally lined them up and did races, so, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a bit, and like I said, occasionally, uh, that's a common troubleshooting problem with this car also, is, uh, getting, uh, <laughs> getting the gears lined up right, see that gears are grinding, so, there we go, uh, since, since you're commenting the most, uh, what would you like to change on this car, Sarah? I have these different pulley wheels. And I have these different gears right here. Or anybody else. What would we like to change to see what happens? Just give it give it a few more seconds. What would we like to change? Nope. <laughs> Alright. Um I'll change. Uh same size gears. Okay. Use the pulleys. Okay. Um I might be able to make, so I have the smallest pulley on and the biggest pulley, um, yeah, we can change one to one more. So, yeah, she shows up occasionally. Um, same size gears. Uh, I might be able to make that work. Let's see. Excuse me while I move my camera around. Okay, so I'll change. Uh oh. Traction came off the tire. That's a really good question, Jeff, and I have not counted them. So, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 10 times 40 ish. And the blue one, uh, the pink one, let's say. I think this one's 24, and I'm not doing, like, a exact count. That's just me quickly <laughs> estimating uh, to save time on this. Okay. So, trying to fix a tire. <laughs> Which, I fixed a whole bunch of these uh, wheels uh, before this, and then um, start using the car and all of the, uh, well, tread or you know, traction you have to use. I think if I had a slicker floor or something, or like, you know, I could use it without the rubber band, but we notice um, without it, the car doesn't really have a lot of traction, doesn't really move. Um, Also, this car could be having a little difficulty moving on my floor, because I have discovered that my house has a lot of sloping floors. Okay, so, if I'm going to make that the same, uh, I'm going to have to move this one. Okay. 
Okay. Take that rubber band off. Yeah, I'm not so graceful with this, but that's okay. This one's on really snug. I'll take this well off. Okay. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to have to move this. And I might actually make this one a little smaller pulley wheel so it doesn't impede on anything. Things are lined up. Yeah. Okay. So let's say close. I think the thing is it's just making sure that I move it maybe diagonally one more. Looks about right. There we go. Maybe. Nope. Well, no, it works. There we go. Cool. We can make sure it stays on there. Oh, nice. How far along are you on that RC plane? that okay I'm putting our tether for the pulley back on Okay, so let's see how this one goes compared to the last two iterations. Can give it a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay, so of course that's not moving because the problem that I need to overcome is making sure the gears stay together. Okay, so I'm going to turn off our motor. Okay, I'm going to put this down real quick. Okay. So, let's, let's see if the gears want to stay together. All right, come on, go. Whoa. So, that one, that one was pretty much, I don't want to, it wasn't as fast as the first one. It wasn't slower than the last one. The last one wasn't necessarily slow. It probably would have gained... Um, more speed as time went because it was gaining momentum. Uh, this one I think is a good general purpose one. Um, of course it hit the legs of a table so the gears shifted out of alignment again. But um, this is a good general purpose car because it started um, and it kind of increased its its uh, speed a little bit, but I think it's a good general purpose one because if it ran into like like a little bump or something, it probably would have been able to overcome it no problem. Okay. Hey, 
so to go over what we learned today, we use electric car. A little simple contraption. It's a compound machine because it has a few different simple machines. Uh, simple machines being your pulleys and your woolen axes. Okay. Uh, pulleys, normally uh, two kind of wheels with grooves tethered together. Uh, by a belt or or rope or whatever other tether you have that's in a loop and when you're driving well turns you notice that this pulley goes this way oh thank you we 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 like doing these demos for you um we have our gears. This pulley is actually driving this gear, and gears gears move into each other, so they move opposite direction, unlike pulleys, same direction. So when this turns, because the pulley's turning it, this gear is gonna turn that. Um, good question. I, th I think this was. I want to say Teacher Geek. Um, I think that was the brand. I think this was from Teacher Geek. Uh, don't quote me on that one. It's It's been a bit since I've looked up that information. Um, I said gears, they move that way, and because this is going this way, that vehicle is going to go that way. Turn that video around. Um, so, uh, any other questions about the electric cars, uh, the pulleys, any other terms that we went over today? I'll just give it about a minute. Awesome. I guess I scrolled that information away in my book brain, so, great. Okay, well, uh, again, thank you for joining us for this live demo. Uh, happy Earth Day. Uh, hope you're enjoying uh, outside from your front porch. Uh, again, uh, we have early learners live at 9.30 tomorrow, and another demo at 1. Uh, again, thank you from Arizona Science Center. Have a great day.